Hello, floss tubers. I know that this video, <coughs> it's not the Rona. I know that this video is um, not long overdue, but today is July 4th, and this is the June floss tube video. So happy July 4th, happy Independence Day, happy birthday, America. And uh, I have a lot to talk about, not very much to show because I have been back at work. And since being back at work, I have pretty much lost my stitchy bug. So I am actually a month behind on the 12 month town stitch along. Um, and we'll get to that in a second, but um, Otherwise, being back at work has been extremely busy, and we were shut down for nine weeks here, and um, yeah, going back, I was so anxious. While I was on my nine-week retirement, I was enjoying it. I did a lot of crafting. I did a lot of things that I wanted to do, and I just wish that I could have done uh, like theme parks or go on vacation or something like that, but that just wasn't happening in the entire United States. So, uh, but I did enjoy my time at home and not having to work, and I think that after that, I should get a two-month retirement every five years of working full-time. <laughs> it just gets so monotonous, you know? Just wake up, do the same thing, eat dinner, go to bed, wake up, do the same thing. And I don't take a whole lot of vacations because, as you all know, my little dog is an elderly dog and he actually turned 15 a couple of weeks ago on um, let's see here the Sunday before Father's Day so flag day June 14th he turned 15 and so he is quite the little handful um, as far as owning and cleaning up after a elderly dog uh, anyways, let me get into it. This is what you guys are here for anyway. Since I don't have a whole lot to show you on this video, uh, I decided to show you some haul that I got during one of the manias. It might have been in May or it might have been in April. I don't even remember. It's all a blur. Anyhow, so I got... The Buttons and Beads by Mill Hill Main Street Flower Shop. I just thought this was so cute. It has tons of beads. Three bags of beads. And that's the little button there, the flower, which goes right on their sign above the door. So I got that. Who knows when I will ever work it. In fact, if you guys like it, um, say that you like it. I'm thinking about giving, doing a giveaway and I'll do one. I'm thinking about doing one for diamond painting and one for cross stitch lover. So, or either or. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, if you guys like some of the stuff that I'm showing, make sure that you're commenting on, oh, I really like this, or I really like this design, and that's cute, or whatever, just so I know kind of what people like, because my, um, my style of cross-stitching is a lot different than what's really popular right now, which is the old country, like, tea and coffee dyed fabric with a lot of browns and reds and creams and just very simplistic sampler type stuff. I don't like that kind of cross-stitching. I like the really colorful stuff and a lot of... Uh, 
a lot of intricate little details as far as like the difference between this and one of those old country looking samplers. I got another one of the Main Street series. This one is the ice cream shop. The ice cream shop's really cute. It also has tons of beads, three bags of beads. One, two, three. And the button is a flower pot. So there's that. So I have the flower shop and the ice cream shop that could go together on one piece of fabric or something. Uh, the other Main Street Mill Hill kits weren't as cute as these. I got the cutest ones and that these were the top two that I liked. Also, during that purchase, um, I already had this pattern and it's basically a Sudoku. So you see there's nine squares inside of nine squares. So instead of the numbers one through nine on like a pencil puzzle, which you guys know I'm totally into. I love pencil puzzles. Um, so instead of the numbers one through nine, each little design is a different number. So you see like this with the little squares. Here it is again. Here it is again. And I'm not sure if this is the solution to it, but it does have, if I can find it quickly, I will show you. It does have to where you can actually stitch it like a Sudoku puzzle. So there's one where it gives you the solution uh, and it is the solution to it. Darn! So they actually give you the solution to it on the picture. That's dumb. So you aren't even working the puzzle. <sighs> oh, they give it, give you the solution to it. Ah, they give you the solution to it on each page that shows you what each square is, too. Well, I guess I won't be working this as a puzzle. But anyway, they, all, they um, also give you, if you wanted to work it as a puzzle, this is it right here. So, if you wanted to work it as a puzzle, you could use this, but then on every single page where it shows you what the stitching for number one is, it tells you where every number one is on the... You get the point. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Shall I put this back in? Is it even worth anything at this point? Okay, anyway. So that's that, and I already had this pattern. On the last page, they give you different colorways that you can do it, and I chose to do this colorway, and I found a couple of things that were on that colorway, but I am having trouble finding, um, the correct mandarin color, the bravo, the fireworks, neon rays, uh, classic silks from classic silk, I don't know, um, and then Gloriana. I don't know, I'm having trouble finding some of these by Rainbow Gallery and the classic silk. But anyway, the others are uh, 
right here we have some and right here so it's going to be like a purple and pink and um, I think some blues in the colorway that I chose to do. And then I got two um, two Rainbow Gallery ones that I have called for on some of the Mirabilia that I was looking for, which I could not find these in any of the stores that I went to. Um, anyway, that's that. That took a lot longer than I was thinking it would. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. If you aren't into haul, I apologize for showing that for a pretty long time. Okay, now on to the 12 month town stitch along. Like I told you, I'd kind of lost my stitchy bug. And so here we are on July 4th, and I am still working on May. So this was the Village Inn by Mill Hill Buttons and Beads. The piece that I'm working on now is the last bit of crosses uh, before I start back stitching and beading. And it's this first floor of the inn right there. And that's what I'm working on right now. Here is what it will look like when it's all said and done. On here, I thought it was kind of like a, <clears throat> like a pinky color. And then on here, it's very beige. Uh, so it's not, it doesn't have pink in it at all, uh, which I actually kind of was a little bit disappointed. Um, I could have, I have all the DMC floss, um, so I could have traded it out for a little bit more of a pinky look, but I just stuck with what they came, what came in the kit with it. And, um, this one's button is the snowman right there and it has two bags of beads so this is still may in june i was supposed to start another one and i haven't so i would say that i am and then in july i was supposed to start another one and i haven't so i would say that i am a little over a month behind on the 12 month town stitch along. But I mean, it kind of goes with the territory. I've been working a lot of hours trying to make up for those nine weeks that I was out. So, and whenever I get home, I just either make food or I grab something on my way home and I eat in front of the TV and then I just chill out and go to bed. Um, anyhow, so, which by the way, my oven went out for, hmm, I guess it was almost two weeks that I didn't have an oven. I have a double oven in my kitchen and the power just went completely poop um, and so it was thankfully fixed by ordering a part at, that my dad and my uncle helped me out by figuring out how to fix it and they fixed it so I have my oven back and not that I use it that often but I use it often enough okay Last but certainly not least, I have a finish. And the only reason that I have a finish is because my mother loves to do French knots and I don't care for them so much. So she had this um, gold collection by Dimensions, Woodland Enchantress, 
and she was I had done all the stitching on it and the back stitching and she was doing French knots and cording so we have finished it because she finished the French knots and the cording and ta-da this is what it looks like So pretty large I think it's 12 by 14 so it's pretty large um, I did stitch it on the Ada that it came with and I used all of the floss that it came with I'm gonna get in closer here to show you see all those French knots for the snow as well as in her hair piece and then down here we get into cording around her waist and beads coming out of her hand as the snowballs there. And then we have some gold metallic going on on her dress. So this pattern I or this picture I have seen on a lot of other uh, designers and websites I've seen it maybe even as a uh, heaven and earth but this one this particular one is called Woodland Enchantress by Dimensions Gold Collection okay um, maybe I'll get it framed sometime soon framing is so expensive but that is that and oh also a couple of floss tubes ago i told you about the eyelash thing the serum that i was doing well i feel like it helped a little bit but not extremely so this is after 90 days i mean they're a little bit longer and fuller i think I can tell a difference anyway, but they aren't like serious lashes. But if I had serious lashes, I wouldn't be able to blink wearing my glasses because they would touch the, in fact, they're kind of touching right now. Um, anyhow, I do believe that's it. So happy fourth and in the floss tube that is for July, this one's for June, even though it's being posted in July, but for the floss tube for July, hopefully, oh, I know that I will have finished this, and hopefully I will be close to finishing, if not finish, another one of these Mill Hill Christmas Village for the 12 month town stitch along. I guess that's it, and I will see you on the flip slide. Peace. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go on Instagram and check me out on Instagram as Stacy Noel CP. And be sure to hit the little subscribe down here as well as the bell if you want to be reminded when I post videos. I don't post videos a ton. Um, I do maybe two a month, something like that. I do one floss tube video a month and then usually one other video a month. So I will see you later on in the month of July. Toodles! Bye!